Hello folks, we're here today to do a Mitch Chronicles. Ooh, oh, that's kind of boring. Well, instead, let's talk about what Mad Dog had a problem with. People didn't like Mad Dog's review of the Futurama. A beast with a billion backs. Basically, it's a beast with genitalia attacking everyone. Japanese fan favorite. But let's go to the first movie. According to Mr. Jeff, these two films tie in. I'll have to say, with the Futurama fans, this one sucked. And this one sucked bad. And I'm a hardcore Futurama fan. And this one just didn't do it. This one didn't have no continuity. <sighs> Bender was not funny, and it's Bender's big score. You expect, because Bender's the main character, he's going to be funny. They just let me down hard, real hard with this one. Now let's go back to The Beast with a Billion Backs. This one, the first act was great. The second act of the film kind of dragged when, the, when you find out The Beast is this lonely cloud of tentacles. And it just didn't work for me. Bender was funny in it. Bender's the saving grace of the thing, especially when he sells his son to the devil. That's even colder than what I would do. But overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, this one's about a 5. The first one, I'd give it a 1, even though it should be a negative 1. And as a fan of Futurama, I can actually say that movie sucked. This movie, on the other hand, is okay. First one, sucked hard. But the one thing both two dramas share in common is these crappy paper boxes. And then they have stuff stored in it that fall out all over the place. And then you got this disc. But the thing is, is that, as you can see, storing with it, these boxes get crushed with videos with real plastic boxes. Unless you're storing them on a bookshelf, even at that, they're going to crush this way. And who says you're not going to put your foot through it by accident? Yeah, it has a real nice embossed surface. But other than that, is an embossed surface worth the chance of damaging your DVD? No. Or the nice animated bender. Is it really worth damaging your CD again? But... I think that's all the time we have for now. So remember, The Beast with a Billion Backs is okay. Matt Dog may have been a little harsh with it, but I have to agree with him that as a non-Futurama fan, they may not like it. But as a Futurama fan, this one did suck. And it sucked bad. It made me regret spending $19.99 on it. And that was with a, with a coupon from Borders. And even at that, it was a waste of coupon. I could have got Race with the Devil for five bucks. Instead, I spent it on this. I should have got Peter Fonda instead. But let's go back to the Midge clip.